Steady D. If it ain't going down at the Bunny Ranch, it ain't going down at all. It's going down, going down. Welcome to the Bunny Ranch podcast. This is Olivia Green from Love Ranch. I'm super happy to be here. So we have a few guests here today and I'm gonna introduce them shortly. And I also want to tell you a little bit about myself. So I started back on December 18th of 2017 and it was amazing. Uh, when I first met Dennis, he gave me this book, The Art of the Pimp, and I don't have the autograph version with me because I definitely have that in storage and I have it like in a very, very special place. Um, but he autographed it to Olivia Green and he said, love daddy. And I can't even tell you how much it meant to me. Um, so I've had a long history being here. I've, I came from Alien cat house which originally Dennis did own and I was here for I was there for about a month right and being there for about a month um after that I was moved up here to Kit Kat and I came to Kit Kat on Dece or January 18th of 2018 and before like on my way see I'm gonna be all over the place so I hope you guys follow me here right um so along the way I had the pleasure of talking to Dennis and also listening to his book that is actually on uh audiobooks right so you can purchase the book and you can also purchase the book here and it was one of the most amazing tours that I ever had of Nevada um he gives a detailed description of meeting Marilyn Monroe for the first time he talks about how it's just an amazing experience to experience all the brothels here in Nevada right and um there's no business like ho business and nobody knows the biz better than Hoff from Heidi Fleiss right she also wrote a book but this book, The Art of the Pimp, A Love Story, One Man's Search for the Love, Sex, and Money. It's the P.T. Barnum of Booty. It's Dennis Hoff. Having him give me a tour of Nevada on my way up from Alien Cat House, it was, it was surreal. When I tell other ladies about it, they're like, oh my goodness, you got to meet Dennis? I'm like, well, yeah, I happen to have been here this long and I'm really happy about it. And I'm really, I feel very privileged about it. And he shared in chapter 10, um, it's called The Art of the Sale. And The Art of the Sale, I still introduce ladies to the business with reading this or listening to the actual audiobook that he, that there is um it's something that means so much to me because it's not Dennis's actual voice but it's his words it's what it's his intonation it's everything that he ever wanted it to be um there's also the fact that um, Bob Zamuda, who was one of the original writers on Saturday Night Live, I've had the pleasure of speaking with him many, many times. I consider him a friend personally, and he's given, like, to have Dennis write the book, Bob co-write the book, and then to know both of them, and then on top of it, to know Madam Suzette. I can't even tell you guys like it's just like the coolest thing um i've learned so much i'm very like 
it's amazing to me. I know I'm repeating myself, but at the same time, guys, like if you only knew how much it meant to me, you'd understand why I'm repeating myself. Um, in the middle, there is this awesome cartoon that Bob Zamuda actually wrote. And it's something that you just, you can't even know. I mean, here we have Dennis meeting Marilyn Monroe for the very first time. And it just doesn't get any better than that. As we rode along, Daddy told me how once when he was a little boy, he had a vision of a goddess. She gave him special powers. He talks about many ladies in here. And he talks about their porn stars in here, ex-girlfriends. I mean, it's amazing. So something that I really value about being here is having known Dennis. It's something that I can't even imagine being here without having known him, without having the history passed along. And that's what makes a big difference to me, is passing along that history of the fun, the fame, the feeling famous, the knowing that we're in a very, very special place. I love all of that and introducing new ladies that come here maybe like every week or every two weeks or once a year however it is it's something that means something to me and it's also there's a entire lineage of making sure that we take care of our gentlemen it's all about an adventure it's not about sex it's about having a great time when gentlemen come in here. I want gentlemen to walk in that door and they come in and see a lineup and they have all these beautiful ladies in front of them and they're like, oh my goodness, they're thinking about so many different things and I want them to know that no matter what they're thinking of, we're going to cater to that. We're going to enjoy that. We're going to have fun with whatever they want to do. I mean, having um, multiple times with going out with gentlemen and having dinner with them or having an adventure, just like in the, like here, there's so much that we can do. There's so much that we can say. I also, I want people to know, and I want you gentlemen to know, that we also love couples. We love people. We want people to have a great time here. It's something that's really, really important to me. So I want to introduce our next guest, which is Ms. Molly Blingwall. She's absolutely amazing, and I'm super happy for you guys to get to know her because she's been here she didn't have the pleasure of knowing Dennis, but she has the pleasure of understanding this business and having a blast with you guys. And that's really why I want to bring Molly here is because she's amazing. And look at this gorgeous woman. Come here, beautiful. Hi. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy you're here. Look at this woman. She's amazing and gorgeous. The beautiful Molly Blingwall. Please tell me more about yourself. Hi there. Um, I am Molly Blingwall, and I'm very excited to be here today. It's the second time I've done the podcast for the Bunny Ranch, and uh, always a thrill. Um, I actually started in the adult industry doing porn and, you know, doing basic camming and doing solo videos and then I moved up to working with other porn stars and that was very exciting and I've, yeah. I've always had a passion for being passionate and so I feel like this is just a really good place for me in this part of my life I'm excited to share it <laughs> absolutely yep. you look so beautiful today oh. Thank I have you. to say. No, you do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Two girl party. Hey. Uh, oh, well, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> so tell me, like, okay, so you came here, you said that you had many things in your past, and then you came here. So what is it that while being here, what do you want to do? Like, what are your goals? Like, what's something you want to accomplish while you're here? Well, I definitely love the uh, positive effect that I have on people while I'm 
with them. Our time together is always very precious to me. And I always try to make make the best out of our time together. Um, yes. I've <laughs> noticed that. Yeah. No matter who I'm hanging out with, you know, whether it's on the clock or not, I just try to live my best life every day and kind of encourage other people to enjoy that too you know Yellow. absolutely <laughs> so um, what's one of your like your favorite things to do mm-hmm. when a gentleman walks in the door like how do you make them feel at home you know i just love the seduction honestly <laughs> it's it's like that hunt <laughs> it is. and i know they're coming to us for a reason and all of that but there's something about that you know, getting them loosened up a little bit and getting them to relax enough to really confess and tell me what they would really like. What are their real fantasies? And then doing yeah. the best I can to help act that out. And I know that people, a lot of times with their fantasies, it's nothing they would want to do in the daily. You know, it's just something that they would really love to try or get out of their system, you know. Or something that's just been Absolutely. rattling yeah. around in the back of their head for a long time. And they're like, oh my gosh. Finally, I have a chance and I'm just really, I, I enjoy role playing. So I get into it when it's, when it's that time. And well, yeah, you know? because <laughs> if they're thinking about something for so long and then you have the opportunity to make that happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's when amazing. Like when I'm reaching out to potential new clients, like on the board and everything, I do like to ask them, you know, do you have any special fantasies that I can help you make into realities? And I, I sincerely mean that from my heart. So, okay, while you have, you've told us about, like, when they first come and, like, what you're looking for and how you seduce them. Mm -hmm. So when you're walking down the hallway, after they've already picked you, (laughs) what, like, what are you saying to your gentleman? Like, what are you... I usually just start by trying to find out a little bit more about them. You know, of course, I'm showing them... This is that room. This is this room. But I am trying to get them to loosen up and tell me like about themselves. And some guys, they really come in and they are a whole other person when they walk in our doors. They use a different name. They they're from another place. Like I'm it, not I'm not going to research. Guys. You know, I go along from the beginning. You tell me your name is Joe. Your name is Joe. And I'm going to call you Joe. It doesn't matter. Or <laughs> John. Know. Or John. <laughs> right. And um yeah, it's it's more about like getting that fantasy started already and making them feel comfortable enough with me that they want to open up and really share that, you know, and it's such a privilege to be, you know, picked in general. It, is. it really is. And I always feel extremely special when I do get picked and I'm I feel like I'm just wagging my tail all the way down the hall when I <laughs> when I'm giving them the tour. <laughs> I love it, you know. <laughs> and I've seen you wag your tail just a little bit. I love it. Um, do you have like a specialty and something that you love to do with a client? Like, oh. what do you love to do? What's your I mean, favorite? Ooh, I can't get into too many specifics, but well, uh, I do have a bit of an oral fixation. Can I can say that I, oh. I'm very talented in those categories. Um, <laughs> um, I love it. And I have a real special place in my heart for virgin parties. Like I, there's something so amazing about being that first, you know, and I, I will always just cherish that anytime I get picked for those parties. Are you kidding me? It's Can a I big get a deal. High five oh my goodness. I, oh I my goodness. Love I love virgins. Ah. Cause it's like, we have the privilege to be there. Like you said, like for someone's very first time. So to have that honor. Yes, absolutely. And you're always going to be remembered, you know, like no matter what, there's a lot of gals that, you know, unless they're absolutely bringing their A game, they're going to get lost in the middle there, you know, like 100%. Oh, there was this one blonde one time, you know, but they're <laughs> never going to forget that first time, you know, they're never and- freaking never gonna forget you oh, yeah tell you that <laughs> I, I am a little memorable <laughs> so when is your next tour like when are you here um i've been doing a month on month off and i think that when the house is open full-time again 24 yes. 7 i'm gonna be on a lot more often and so okay 
we are doing our best to so make we get that to happen. have you more often i hope so i can't yeah, wait I'm i excited. can't wait i'm sure you guys can either i i do love being here but you know <laughs> i do get called to go back home and deal with adult things <laughs> adult i gotta things. be responsible once in a while i mean life know? like everybody yeah. else here is dealing with <laughs> absolutely yeah we have that too guys mm -hmm. so say you guys ever want to make sure that you're being generous with us there are multiple ways to do that and all you need to do is contact us through our email and through the website so what is your email molly molly blingwell at loveranch.net so, okay yeah so they can feel free they can email you have a conversation absolutely they can make sure that they're all of their questions mm -hmm. they're being answered and that you're giving them all the information that they need. Absolutely. And even okay. when I'm not in-house, like I'm back home and dealing with stuff there, I do check my email still and try to communicate with clients and That's let them know cool. when I'm coming back and, you know, let them know how, you know, so, so we can make the right arrangements. And some people have very big fantasies. And so it does require some preparation on my Absolutely. end to make sure that everything is just right. Like if it's a, a birthday party or something like that. I want to make sure that I'm bringing those special birthday things, you yes. know, and make it a super special occasion. And, you know, I, I take a little pride. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> kicks feet. <laughs> I mean, for, kicks feet. <laughs> you know. um, so I've seen, I've seen you be requested during lineup. I've seen you also being picked, mm -hmm. right? Um, Something that I truly appreciate is that you seem to make gentlemen feel very much at home. Mm -hmm. Like, how is it that you do that? What are you, like, what are you doing that makes them just like, oh, I can't help myself? Oh, I guess. I, I mean, I've seen I've, it happen. Yeah, so I, I want to know. I usually, you know, when they pick me, I immediately feel special and I beam back at them because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so... Oh I'm, oh, I'm so happy. Oh. I'm so excited. You know, but I have to I like tone it. it down about 10 notches and then just like put that into a little physical touch. And I'm not like getting into their pants immediately or anything like that. But, you know, I'll, I'll take their hand. I'll take their arm. I'll make sure that they, they feel that immediately human contact with me. And you can just get so much just from that vibe. And I know that they feel my excitement. I feel their nervousness, you know, and it's just, it's very precious. <laughs> it is really precious. But I also, you know, give them a little neck rub as we're walking and talking or, oh, you know, like I when, love that. when we sit on my bed and negotiate, even if we don't come to an agreement, I know that they're more relaxed when they leave my room than they were when they came in. Absolutely. You know, and that way... You know, they're feeling better for that next negotiation. No, and for sure. For the rest of their day, hopefully, you know. Is there <laughs> is there something that you would like gentlemen to know that, or even and or couples, because I know you love couples too. <laughs> um, I mean, hey, it's here true. we are. I love couples. Not too. everyone I has mean, couples, it. though. It's a special. <laughs> it is special. So what do you do? Like, what's something that you would like to say like, what's something that's special? Oh. Like, is there something that you want to tell the audience? I know that I do get picked frequently because I'm... Yes, not, she does. I'm not a thin girl. I'm I'm a, kind of a hearty, sturdy girl. Oh, my and, goodness. You know, no, and that's okay. I love it. I love my curves. Gorgeous. You know, and I'm a mature woman. I'm not the, the youngest, uh, you know, and that's okay. I have my own niche. And some guys, they want to party with a woman who's closer to their age or, you know, can have a conversation about crazy rock bands that they remember and stuff like that. And so it is kind of a generational thing. But also some guys pick me because I remind them of that hot teacher or, you know, mom's best friend and we do role plays. So it just works out fine for me. <laughs> Can you tell me about a uh, karaoke? Oh my goodness. I love karaoke. Please. Uh, okay. I am a, a karaoke ho. I admit, I confess. <laughs> All right, gorgeous woman. Tell I, me. I get in there and like sometimes if it's really she slow. She can sing. I will play karaoke roulette and that is the most daring thing that I've done at all of these houses because that means I let the DJ just pick whatever song he wants, whether I've heard it or not, whether I know it or not, and I just 
give it my best. <laughs> and I do. I really do. I bring, she does. bring the A game. <laughs> And I'm up there singing, I'm dancing, I'm I'm putting on a whole rock show, you know. But I also, oh. I share the microphone. I give other people a turn when they come out. <laughs> well, so as she knows, I'm not really good with the microphone when it comes to karaoke. For whatever reason, I'm like... You get shy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I get shy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, okay, let's do a... Let's host a podcast. That's right. great. But at the same time, when you're doing karaoke it feels so comfortable for me to be in the background mm -hmm. and i don't have a microphone i'm just like singing along i'm having fun and then i stick the microphone in her face while she's singing yeah. along and oh, force her to sing so on mic <laughs> what's your favorite song to sing oh it's a toss-up because i do love several songs but uh, jolene i always gotta do always uh recently i really nailed it with the gypsy by fleetwood mac that totally was, that was a good one and uh, she you know, did nail it. <laughs> I wish they had more bizarro songs because a lot of the songs I love to sing, like just while I'm in my car at home or whatever, we don't even have on the karaoke yet. <laughs> and when do we have karaoke? Can on you tell Wednesday us? nights at the Love Ranch, we have karaoke from seven till midnight. And DJ West is our, our great host. He's pretty awesome. <laughs> and you're always killing it for yeah, real no, i try to bring it <laughs> you welcome duets the three of us like i love it's... encouraging new girls to jump on there too and get out of their safety bubble a little bit and yeah it's really fun when they when they start really getting comfortable with it and opening up and just like letting it belt oh it's beautiful it's like watching it a flower blossom <laughs> it is watching a flower blossom like it's pretty cool and i encourage the heck out of that <laughs> <laughs> um, so say a gentleman were to come in and experience karaoke and they're not necessarily getting a lineup, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh my goodness, Molly Blingwall. <laughs> so how are you going to seduce them? Okay, well... You know, it starts with the eyes, of course. You make a little eye contact. I try to try to get them feeling included. You know, do you want to sing with me? What's your favorite song? If they right. want, like, because I do karaoke roulette, I'll sing a song I don't know. I don't oh, care. Yeah, <laughs> I will give it my best shot. And, you know, a little liquid courage if they want to encourage me. Uh, <laughs> I don't normally turn down drinks. So, <laughs> What's your favorite? Ooh, you know I'm a rum and coke girl most of the time. I mean... <laughs> Most of the time. I'm pretty creative, though, you know. Okay. <laughs> I like a good mixed drink. Okay. For sure. Nice. Um, so what would you like to make sure that the gentlemen know about you? Like, it, and or couples, like, that's yeah. very much included. I would say I am a definitely a team player, you know, and if, if he's coming to me or they are coming to me, I'm going to do my best to make sure they have an outstanding time. And that they want to keep coming back to the house. And even if I'm not there, like, I will hype up my other sisters and be like, go party with them until I get back, you know. But yes. <laughs> come see me again, you know. <laughs> I love it. But mainly I just try to, you know, plant a little seed in their mind that, you know, late at night they might think about Miss Molly. <laughs> I might do a little freelance Googling, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love it. <laughs> but... I definitely I have a lot of content out there and so there's a lot of little seeds planted all over the place and it's Absolutely. fun to watch those grow <laughs> and they can find you at oh of course the bunny ranch webpage on the love ranch section I am absolutely also, we have the I'm, message board right the message board is great uh, I'm also on Twitter I'm on Instagram I have a Facebook fan club and I run it personally. So it's just my way of getting around I using your legal name and stuff on Facebook, you know, so. <laughs> I'd love that. A uh, little tip for other ladies who might have a similar stage name situation and are trying to figure out how to work it with Facebook because there's a lot of people there. It's a whole whole huge audience they could be reaching you, you mean know? face of the book the face yes. of the book the face of but the book if you run your own fan club <laughs> you nailed it you'll, you'll get those messages personally you know and totally people don't need to have your personal information so that is there we like go pretty glorious sweet <laughs> so 
Anything else you'd like to share with our wonderful people today? Um, I would like to share that Miss Olivia here is awesome. Aww. And I'm hella thankful that I got to be on this first podcast with you. Dude, you're so awesome. Wag's tail, wag's tail. So <laughs> I think we should hug real quick. Okay. Can we have a hug? Yes. Go yes. for it. No mic. Muting. Yay. I'm going to try not to hit the microphone again, guys. So now I have our next guest, which happens to be a wonderful woman with the initials of JJ with the last name of Jupiter. And she's on her way with her gorgeous little plaid skirt. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Hi. I gotta hug you at the end, darling. Yes, you will. Heck Hi. yeah. <laughs> I love it. Welcome, Jamie. Thank you. Jamie Jupiter. Give me a high five. Bam. So, high five we're super camera. stoked to be here. Jamie. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me about you. Like, you, when I see your pictures, when I see like all the fun stuff that you do, right? You, it's always colorful. It's always like, I can We're good? Okay. Sorry, I don't, talk with my hands. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> so your business card, everything that you do, like anything that you post is always sunny and bright and like colorful. So tell me about you, like how colorful you are. Like it's amazing. Uh, well, right. I, <laughs> I just do the things that I enjoy and I figure if I enjoy them, then maybe other people will, will enjoy them. Totally. Right? Yeah. And I like pretty colorful flowers and I like rainbows. I have my room set up so there's rainbows in there know. all the time. Always. <laughs> You've seen it. I have. Yeah. So her back door, right? She happens to be in a very special place in the house where I have she happens. Room. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. So it was a room that had out outside access and so mm -hmm. she now has outside access and gets to utilize the sunshine and all of that goodness yes and you can see how much she enjoys it right um there's a picture of her on twitter where she's sitting and she's just like in this like awe and bliss mm -hmm. and just sitting on her back porch and it's beautiful so what is it that makes you be like, I'm going to just like give all that I have? Because I've seen you do that, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen you just like, okay, we have butterflies and rainbows and all the happiness in the whole world, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're giving them something that is of you. Yeah. And I've noticed that. So, What's your favorite thing to give a gentleman? My favorite thing to give a gentleman, um, besides my stickers. Right. <laughs> Which are also her business cards. Rocks and crystals. I love it. Literally rocks and crystals. If um, you are a gentleman and you've received a gift from me, it's a rock or a crystal. That's really cool. Um, I came outside, I think it was yesterday, and... So she had this like beautiful cluster of citrine and it has multiple like, oh my goodness, these pillars, like correct me when I'm using incorrect terminology. Um, but here it was absolutely freaking beautiful. And I watched her pick it up from the table and she cradled it like it was a baby. And she was like, Oh, this is my citrine. And it was just so cool. And I hit that again. Sorry. Did I hit it? No? Okay. Because it is a baby. It's an earth baby. Mama <sighs> Earth made that. 
It's See? a it's a little tiny yeah. piece of Mama Earth. And it kind of looks like a whole bunch of penises, too, in <laughs> your little citrine. A little edgy for a penis. It Well, yes, edgy, but I'm just saying <laughs> you have multiple of them. I do. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I love that I made you blush. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to happen ever. I've never seen you blush. Ha, penis. <laughs> okay. So what's your... Like, what's your specialty? Like, what do you love to Ooh. do with a gentleman or, and or a couple? I love it when they're excited to be with me because then I get excited too. You it, Clearly. I'm like. Clearly it, she gets excited. I love this. What you got for me? Her yeah. energy is like <laughs> over the top. And like, uh, you can't be sad in my room. I will make you laugh. If I have to jump on the bed or tickle you or make funny faces or talk like a baby or whatever it is, I'm going to make you laugh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love it. I, I, love I will it. bend over and, like, talk with my other mouth. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Her other mouth. My other mouth. Yes. Yeah. Um. Oh, I... <laughs> Forgive me. I, I lost blush. it on that. Yeah, she so did. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. So when you are, say you're in lineup, right? Mm -hmm. And you're being picked and you're leading the gentleman away. Mm -hmm. What makes you special? Like, what is it that you're like, I'm giving this to you. I have this. I immediately grab their hand, I look them directly in the eyes, and I say, hi, thank you. What's she your does. name? Have you been here before? Okay. Let me take you on a little tour, and then we'll go to my room and talk. Okay. Right? Yeah. I, I always let them know what to expect, especially if they've never been to the house before, you know? When you do something you aren't familiar with, sometimes you're nervous. You might even be scared. Yes. And totally I, understandable, by the way. We all understand that part. Yeah. Yes. So I find that letting them know what's coming up, what to expect, right? Yeah. Takes a lot of the pressure off. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's also why she has been our lover of the month this month. Woo! 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 I'm just saying. <laughs> I got a toot a little horn because she's amazing. Truly, you guys have no idea. So there was, so last week, there was a gentleman that came in and he and I partied. And then there was a period of time in between parties and he said, I want Jamie. I said, I don't blame you for wanting Jamie. I don't blame you. So let me go see if she is free and let's go from there. So I went and I left a gentleman in the room for a moment and I went and I got Jamie and I was like, Jamie, are you down? Do you want to do this? And she was like, I yeah. can't wait. And then I wasn't actually part of the actual party of that part. It was that. The best part was when I came in after her time was up and he said, she's wild. And I was like, I have no doubt. <laughs> so what makes you wild? Like, why would he be like, she's oh, wild? I really think it's the hair. No, I, because there's so much more to you than just your beautiful hair. Uh, Miss Leo, I know yeah. there's so much more. Okay. So I have a pretty solid sense of what I can and can't get away with. Okay. Right? I don't yes. want to get in trouble. And I don't want to I don't want to cause my middle any name? injury or embarrassment. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So what is it that she I couldn't help but I can't help but laugh on that. Um so <laughs> You don't want to get in trouble or laugh or embarrassment. But like when I came in and he was like, she's wild. Like what was it that made him? I mean, 
we're all having fun here and it's an adventure but i'm just i've been trying to picture in my head ever since like what did she do i got bossy <laughs> i love he, it he was trying to tell me to do different things and i straight up said nope this is what we're doing enjoy it and he did and he did yes and he had el pollo loco after so just saying. yeah <laughs> So is there something that you want the gentlemen and couples to know? And even ladies, like, is there something that you want to say that you're like, this is really important to me and I want to make sure that I'm showing this and saying this? I believe in giving affection, not just sex, because sex is easy. For most of us, it's pretty easy, but it's really hard to have genuine affection and care. Totally. Yeah. And I find that a lot of my clients, um, the, the men who tend to choose me, um, they've had someone in their life that loved them and honored them and was affectionate with them. And they miss that. Totally. And I understand that them coming, that they wouldn't come to see me if they were still receiving that from their person so I always respect the fact that they've had that person and I always do like a silent thank you to her I don't know her I don't know her name I don't know what she looks like totally but that man has received genuine affection and care and that's a huge honor to be chosen as the it person to honor. give that also intimacy 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 is one of my favorite things to give and to receive um how do you feel like as far as like affection but also intimacy like are you comfortable just being able to give of yourself and be there yeah like i love that yeah i love that is there something specific that you want to tell everyone about you She's amazing, guys. You have no idea. So I have so many fun little tricks up my sleeve. I mean, and I didn't know that I was going to use my music degree for this purpose, but I can hum with my throat full. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I love that. So, so far, I've figured out I can do the national anthem, I can do happy birthday, and I can do boot scoot and boogie. I am willing to try a request. If you've got a request, bring it to me. Um, speaking of music, <laughs> let's go to karaoke. We were talking about karaoke earlier, right? Yeah. And she sings amazing also. So all four of us, and you'll meet Candy here shortly, um, all four of us love to sing karaoke. So what's your favorite karaoke song? Okay, so... People go absolutely wild when I do Primus's Three Little Pigs. <laughs> well said. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. a great duet. It's a wonderful duet. Yes. Yes. You and Molly definitely kicked butt on that for sure. Yeah. She was such a good wolf. So can you give us a little bit of a little preview? I know I'm putting you on the spot, 100%. <laughs> I know you got this, though. I'll, I'll summarize the intro. Okay. Sit right down and let me tell you a tale of three little pigs and the big bad wolf. See? <laughs> you guys, it's an entire show when you come to see us for karaoke. It's right. not just like... Oh, let's sing this or let's sing that. Oh, no. No. It's an entire show. It's a whole show. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what, what else would you like to share with us? Like, I have a million bazillion questions for you at the same time. I want you on our very first podcast to share. And same with Molly and same with Candy. Like, I want our ladies to show and talk about the things that it's important to them like mm. the book was super important to me what's something like super important to you i'm sorry to put you on the spot 
Well, it's mostly it's the opportunity to give people something that they need. Absolutely. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. And it it's really important. Um, mm -hmm. I know that you value time and you value funds and that you value the person that yeah. you're with. And you also value the person that the person that you're with might not be with at that moment. Yes. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Yes. That is very cool. Um, is there anything else other than giving us your amazing contact info? Because I'm going to ask that in a minute, but I want to make sure. Well, with the temperature warming up and us having lots of beautiful sunshine during the day, I would like to treat some of my fellas and ladies <sighs> and couples on outdate specials. Okay. I yep. love that. So I, love I am that. doing a so two for one outdate special. As far as, um, so what is it that you would like to do, say you were out with a couple, lady, or a gentleman? Mm -hmm. Like, what is it that you would like to do that, say, you were having that time with them? What do you want to do? Well... If I have the opportunity to show off my smarts, I know lots of things about geology and herbology and animal tracks. I am a wilderness expert, and I can tell you what animal made those tracks, and I might follow the tracks just to see where it oh, went. Oh, my goodness. And I know all kinds of fun things, um, how to tracker? find food. Yeah. <gasps> And I know six different ways to make fire without matches or a lighter. Oh, my goodness. She should have been on alone. Okay. All right. Jamie, it has been wonderful to see you. Thank I'm super you. happy to have you. And I need a hug. You're and getting a hug. We're so. Let's hug. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug. Huggy. Yay. All right, so we have, and I might need to clean my glasses here in a moment, um, but we have our next beautiful, amazing, newest lover to our house. She has gone above and beyond to make gentlemen and couples feel at home. She is bilingual. She is learning English on a regular basis. She is growing and growing and growing. And she's absolutely amazing. So please welcome Miss Candy Love. Here she comes. Yay! Miss Candy Love. Everybody. Hi. How are you? I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm so happy to have you here. Yeah, with all the guys, you know, and I want they know more about me. Yes. It's amazing. So, Miss Candy, tell me about you. Like, where are you from? Okay. I'm from Guatemala. <gasps> She's from yeah. Guatemala. Actually, uh, my, my father is from Mexico and my mom is from Guatemala. Oh. So it's a nice Latin combination. And do you guys hear her voice? It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful and amazing. Thank you. I appreciate no, that. Truly, though. Yeah. So, what um, I know that you understand most of most English, right? Yeah. She says she doesn't, but I know she does. I know she does. She's amazing, <laughs> right? I try. I try. I understand and more than I can to speak. So, what say you could say something to the gentleman in Spanish and you wanted to say it obviously using all of the rules that we have because we want to make sure that we're being respectful 
what would you like to say to the Spanish speaking community that would make them feel more comfortable being and coming to see you? Um, you can say it in Spanish. Okay. About and ask my, my country, you asking me? That? No. Okay. So the um, gentleman oh, yeah. that come in to see us. Oh, yeah, of course. That speaks Spanish. Okay, I'm going to try to say English. Okay. No, no, no. In in Espanol, <laughs> Espanol. that's what I okay, in okay. Espanol. Like, what would you like them to know? Okay, I uh, pienso que la mayoría de los chicos que llegan a visitarnos a la ranch, um, ellos son muy respetuosos y de hecho me encanta el trato que nos dan. Um, también. Creo que pasan un tiempo muy divertido con nosotras. Es un lugar muy bueno, muy bonito para visitar. Y tratamos todas las chicas de darles lo mejor. She's amazing. In English? Okay. Yes. I think all the guys, uh, they come to visit us. They really, uh, really nice people. Um, they are re really respectful with us. And this is important to me because... You know, it's nice to find people, kind of people like that. Um, it is. I think they enjoy the time with us because and we with need you? to try. Yeah, all the girls there uh, try to be nice with them. And they really enjoy the time with us, really. It's amazing. So she is also our featured lover this month, <laughs> which Thank is you. amazing. Yeah, I'm so happy for that. Thank yes. So um so I've also we've talked about karaoke quite a bit today. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's my it's uh I can say it's uh, my favorite day on the week, you know, because it is every I, I Wednesday. Love to sing. I love I love to spare time with you guys. You're yes. amazing too. And I think it's not like uh, a work, it's like a family place, you know. It is. Um, so I've heard her sing English karaoke, and I've also, um, you said in Espanol, it's also, what is your favorite Spanish? Or English. Oh, no, no, no. Spanish and karaoke. It's, it's oh, uh, yeah. what's her name? Uh, I really love to sing in the buff language, but I, um, my favorite Selena. Spanish song is yes. Selena. Singer. It is Selena. Yeah, she's so yes. amazing. So I really love her. She will sing in Espanol, um, Selena, and it's like she is on point. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank Do you, you hear her? It almost <laughs> sounds like it sounds like it just she was made obviously to say it, like obviously to sing it. And so she takes men and she's just like a siren and she's singing her songs and it's absolutely beautiful um so what's your favorite Sel selena song uh, my favorite selena song is como la flor uh, it's a romantic song and i think um i had other one it's like si una vez the both is our romantic song um i am fanatic of now she is she's so good um do you know anything any, off the top of your head put you on the spot 100 percent mm. <laughs> it's okay it's okay if not i'm just saying if you knew something off the top of your head uh mm, i think uh i think um I had other ones like. Um, what do you know by heart? Yeah, but what I have. Um, what do you know in your head? Like, what do you know um, yeah. that you can say no problem? Um, that you have memorized. Um, I had really really nice experience in my life. Um, she does have a lot of amazing experience yeah. and please forgive me if I'm not saying this correctly with Miss Candy because <laughs> I'm not 
Sue, I don't always, I can speak a little bit of Spanish, but I understand more Spanish than I could speak it. And so I always feel bad when we have this sort of thing where I can't exactly converse the way that I'm trying to say and what I mean. Um, so what is your favorite thing to do with a gentleman? Oh, it's a nice question. <laughs> uh, I think I try to, to do the best that's, that's possible. And, you know, I like to dance for them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they really jo enjoy that. Like a sexual, uh, sexy dance. So, bailamos, we yeah. dance. I ask him them sometimes. Yeah. Like, okay, come on. I like how you do that. Okay. <laughs> so, if you guys don't know, she can dance amazing. Oh, I try. Okay. <laughs> Especially with Spanish and music. I love to move my ways. So I think well, yeah. it's like in my natural uh, Latin nature. <laughs> it is. It is. I think Do so. You, you dance salsa? I love to dance every rhythm. So I can well, do that. She can definitely <laughs> she can definitely do salsa. That's for sure. Um, Sue, can you show us a camera words? But can you please show us a little bit? Really? For us? You see. Okay. I don't have your thing, but I got you. Yes. Oh, see the camera? We got to make sure it's in the camera. Oh, if you guys can't see her hips. Oh, que bonita. Que guapa. You too. Absolutely. You're beautiful too. You're gorgeous. Thank you. Well, my pleasure. You are. Sue, so, tell us about the ears. The oh, yeah. Um, I think uh, sometimes I, I like to use this one because it's so cute. You know? <laughs> and other people said, I'm cute too. I don't know. <laughs> <That's what's gonna laughs> so I, she I think is it's, cute. It's good with my personality. It you know? is. It's a perfect match with my personality. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, my pleasure. So, what is your contact information? What is your email? Yeah, my email is, um, okay, in Twitter is uh, Meet Candy Love, and the principal page is um, Candy At Love. At yeah. Okay. Nice. So it's Candy Love at loveranch.net. Exactly. Thank you for listening and watching the Bunny Ranch podcast. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I am Olivia Green. Please feel free to contact me, Olivia Green at loverinch.net. Thank you so much. Have a great day.